What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of this Go 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 Spark V Pro range finder. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this range finder, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So guys, I got this range finder uh, mainly for hunting, but also for golf, uh, two of my hobbies. Uh, and it's nice for hunting because it'll basically tell me how far away an animal is. And it's great for golf uh, because it'll tell you how far basically a hole is. You can look at the flag uh, and it'll also kind of tell you the angle. Uh, if there's any angle on any of the slopes or anything like that, which is a really, really cool feature of it. Now, as much as I like this range finder, one of the things I also like, it comes with this handy duty little case here. Um, this is a cool little case just to carry it around. Um, it helps protect it and everything like that. It also has like a lens cleaner too, but um, it's a really, really good product that I've used many, many different times. Uh, so let me kind of walk you through some of the things here and then I'll actually show it outside as well. So before I jump outside and show you it actually taking a range, which is probably going to be a little difficult difficult because I'm doing it through a mobile device. I just want to talk about uh, a little bit of the functionality. So there are three different modes to this, right? And then there's the on and off switch here. And then this is where you adjust uh, to get it uh, focused. Now, in terms of the different modes, uh, there is mode one, which is a very fast mode that is essentially just to see uh, how far something is from distance, right? And when you press mode, when you're looking in here, when you press mode, you're going to see M1, which means it's in mode one, and then you can basically tell how, how far something is from distance. So it's a quick way to check that. Mode two is a little bit different. It's mainly used for golf, uh, and it actually will check how far something is, but also the slope, uh, if there's any slope on it. That's great for golf, you guys. Like if you're, if you're a golfer looking at this, that's a really great feature. It really, really, really helps up your game, uh, you know, if you're really into paying all the attention to the details like I am. And then the last thing is mode three. This is actually used to tell how fast something is coming at you or moving away from you. Um, I haven't really used that because in hunting, it's, it's so quick that that stuff happens anyway. So I haven't really used that, to be honest with you. Uh, I usually just use mode one for hunting and mode two for golfing. And to make it work, super simple. Uh, basically, you just press the on button here and you'll see some uh, kind of like a reticle uh, pop up in the viewfinder and you'll be able to see that and kind of tell what's going on. Uh, there is no cover here, right? No cover here. So careful not to touch that with your fingers. You don't want to do that. And the battery goes in here and uh, it does come with a battery as well. All right, guys, so I've got the range finder here and I'm going to do it really quick here. I'm just going to actually pull this up to the camera uh, and get it all set so you can see exactly what it looks like when you're looking at it. Okay, so this is really the best angle that I can get, uh, but we'll look at that little tree right out there, right? Press this button here. You can see M1, that's mode one. So that tree is 21.3 yards, and I apologize if it's a little shaky. Uh, 21.3 yards for that. That's mode one, right? That's just the distance to something. I use that for hunting. Uh, we can go into mode two. As you can see in the top left, there's that little golf flag. So this is great. It's going to tell you the distance uh, and also the slope. So you see 21.3 on the top and then also the slope of 20.2 yards, right? Uh, and then we go into uh, mode three, which isn't going to really work here, but this is to tell how fast something is coming at you or moving away from you. And guys, one last thing I think you should know, which is kind of cool. So if you need it to hold, it actually has a magnet on it too. Uh, a pretty strong magnet right on this side right here, uh, which is cool if you're just looking to place it somewhere. So guys, as much as I love this thing, the one thing I think that you should know before buying is that, as I said, it doesn't come with any caps on anything. And you wanna be really, really careful not to put your fingers on that. I've slipped a few times and done that. You just gotta use the microfiber cloth that it came with to clean it. Uh, but I wish that they would have included covers just cause it would have made it better uh, when you're using it and everything to just make sure that you cover the lens. But other than that, it's a really, really good product. If you're considering buying it, we definitely give it our recommendation and hope that you enjoy.